Yo, what's up? This that guy, Rel, the host of the 313 Live Show, Detroit's Royals Podcast Show. We thank you for tuning in to us over here on podcast, but now you need to go over and check us out on our YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is The 313 Live Show. Make sure you go over, like the videos, comment on the videos, and most importantly of all, subscribe and tell a friend. What's up, Podcast World? How you guys doing? We are back. Another week. Episode 106. How you doing, Danny? 106? Calm down. I'm sorry. I know. I came you in. You came in real strong. came in real strong. But listen, we need that strongness in this, you know. 106. <laughs> That's how I love it. We need to start doing that. But oh, no. You can I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to bring it down. We're going to start doing that. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. But what's up, Danny? How you doing this I'm week? I'm doing good. Hope I have a good week. I didn't have a good last week. Oh, Lord. What about you, Jay Streets? Look, me and Danny must be on the same page because my last week was terrible. I ain't going to say terrible because I woke up, but, yeah. you know, but could have been, been better. better. Definitely, yeah. definitely. But hopefully this week is a little better, so. Yeah, man. You know, the devil was working, dog. I was like, last night I um, was out and about and I seen the freeway was closed. I was like, damn. Let me let Danny know what's going on with the freeway. Thank you. And I texted her, let her know what was up. She's like, oh, I'm already east. I'm like, oh, bet, bet. <laughs> and so then, bam, this morning I woke up, power outage, right? And I'm like, what the fuck going Real, on? Real, like, I know I paid my bill. Oh, I know my bill was paid, <laughs> so. Um, I paid next month. I, I, right. went, I, I went out and looked around. My neighbor was like, yo, shit out? I was like, yeah. I was like, okay. And then we seen the tree cutter down the street, and we knew what was going on. And so, bam, called DTE. And they said, you guys would be up by 1 o'clock. And I was like, cool. So I hit Danny and let her know what was up by 1 o'clock and shit. Before the, 1. Yeah, that was not what they told me it would be ready by 1, around 1. But when I hit Danny up, it was like less than 10 minutes. About, not, about an hour later after I had sent her the first text. No, about it wasn't it. even an hour. It was what? like... Probably like 40 minutes. 40 minutes, okay. They had good, it sir. back up. Yep, had it back up. So what up. do they cut it off so they can cut the tree and then cut it back on? Uh, no, the or asshole cut, cut the, wow. the yeah, the line on, on someone else's property. But you Well, know. then they moved fast then oh, for yeah. a cut line. Yes, that was. So it happened last night? No, no it happened this, this morning. morning. Oh, like, damn. So, like yeah. between 11 and like 12.30 before I texted it said one thirty. Yeah. And I mm. said, damn. <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm like, we, we on a good road. This ain't finna happen. So I was... On my way to go pull out the generators, like, fuck that. We're going to record this show today. He <laughs> but, said, Danny already on the east side. We recording. Yeah, we recording this. I ain't going to let our ass leave the east yeah, side. You know, Even worst kind of worst, we, we could all. Right, house. that's what I was going to yeah. say. We could always oh, do okay. that line. Well, this, you know, this week, I'm going to talk about the elections. Danny, what you think about that? 100 new women were elected into the house. First off, wait, before we even go there, did all of y'all vote? Yeah. Hell yeah. As a matter of fact, I think I already saw everybody. I think I saw something with both of y'all. Put Don't y'all come there. at us like I'm that. I'm just trying to make sure. Because we didn't see nothing about you voting. Look, I definitely <laughs> voted because, you know, I voted uh, yes for proposal one. That so. don't mean that we didn't see you post nothing on Instagram. Uh, you didn't put I, it on listen, social I'm, media. I don't never post. it does not exist. I never post right. anything on so uh, Instagram. Yeah, I was on Snapchat with it. And listen, let me show mine to vouch. You don't got to show nothing. We believe you. You know, all right. But no, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. It. 100 new women, Danny, is in the house. That's good. Yeah, Real good. And the Democrats has taken the house back. And it's... it's, a it's pu- and so what is the difference between the house and the Senate? The house is the most powerful because everything has to go through the house before, before it, it goes to the Senate. Okay. So the, the house can shut down any and everything that Donald Trump is trying to do because they got the vote to, to do it. And mm-hmm. if they shut it down, it don't make it to the Senate. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Most definitely that's what's up. So they about to shut him down. And it's some very critical places, though, too, like Texas and Kentucky where, you know, like it's, it's like so many, like, 
history is being made, like first time a black woman or a woman, or it's like, dang, like we in 2018 and it's still like, ooh, making history. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then to come to find out, it might, they're not done counting the votes in um, Arizona and California. Wow. So it could possibly be more seats that's going to be taken. And um, what I hate about the Florida um, governor's race, mm-hmm. what's his name, Gilliam or Gilliam or whatever? Yeah, that G person. <laughs> I, 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 I dislike that he conceded too early. So whoever was in his camp and in his ear telling him to concede that only 94% of the count was in, they needs to be fired and never, ever again be able to give... I'm not conceding until... <laughs> You're right. You you shouldn't until have... the end of the end right. until the next day. Right. And and now he see how close he is to possibly possibly becoming the new governor. But you're not conceding, you dumb fuck. So they I guess they're gonna go to court and overturn yeah overturn it and and see what's happening because he's very close. They at the point to where they can call a, a recall, right? And this is the funny shit about <laughs> the Republicans, right? How when when Bush did this shit, right? When they was talking about it was too close to call back in 2000 or whatever it was, he paid people to come in there and rush the office to make a big scene, to intimidate the people, to hurry up and call the vote, call it for him. So now that it's too close to call, those same Republicans, the Democrats isn't doing it. But now those same Republicans want to say, you're trying to steal the election and hijack the election and we're not going to have that and this and that. And, you know, shut the fuck up. When you motherfuckers was winning, it was all good. Now that you're losing, now that you're losing, it's a problem. So now about proposal one in Michigan. Oh, thank God. Listen. Really? I'm so happy about that. Why? Because man, it's like, and I'm, I'm, listen, I know. I voted no on one. What? Are you for real? Yes, I did. Um, and you, but you used to get down on no. those. Excuse you. Like, you know what I'm saying though. How you going? Okay, so like, but for me, like, well, I don't smoke anymore. But like, knock on wood. No, I don't. But <laughs> what do you knock on wood for? You irritated. But to me, it's like it's just going to be so many stipulations on it and regulations on it that it's just like, is is y'all still going to be trying to take down the black people behind it? You Definitely. know what I'm saying? Like. Y'all didn't legalize this because y'all would help black people. Y'all legalized this because y'all found a way to take what we've been doing all our life and make money over it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm just not down with that. And to me, it's like they, they haven't rolled out all the rules and regulations right. regarding legalizing it. So I right. can't vote yet on something that I don't know a lot about. Yeah, and that's that was my thing. I'm like, okay, um, so... Technically, it's legal, like you know, on paper. Well, yeah, on paper. I'm talking about like recreational, so Mm -hmm. you can be not like out in public, but if you have some on you, you know, you're not gonna get in trouble. My thing is, when does this take? When does this like come into place? Like, okay, so when like when Mm -hmm. it got passed, the next day, if somebody got pulled over and they had some on them, no, it don't go into effect until I think December. Oh, okay. Uh, And Mm -hmm. then it's not federal, Mm -hmm. like. I think it's going to go in effect a little bit after that. I did a little research on it. I voted yes. Thank God. I'm not a smoker of it, but I'm going to tell you why I voted yes, because I was going to vote no on it. The reason why I voted yes on it was because if it if it passed and made it through as being legal, they were going to go in and overturn every black person's uh, felony conviction of marijuana or it's in prison right now. They were gonna pardon them. As long as it's nonviolent. Yeah, yeah. As attached. long as it was nonviolent, it's attached to it. They was gonna pardon them, and you know, let them go, and they're gonna um, get rid of their the felony record so they can have a second chance at life. That was the only reason I voted yes. But now it is a blessing and a curse, and I'm going to tell you why it's a blessing and a curse. The blessing is, you can have two ounces of weed on your person. And you're good. There's no more felony for it if you're not caught selling it. Okay. The curse the curse is with it is now all the good jobs are coming to Detroit. Now, you got to look at Google just opened their doors Friday here in Detroit. Really? Yes, they did. Oh, I need 
to apply. Go yeah, they're they're taking applications. Uh oh. Okay. And, uh, I can do um, something at Google. Right. The rumor is that Amazon is going to break down in another five years and they're coming to Detroit. And an Apple store is supposed to come to Detroit allegedly downtown. Hopefully. From yeah, allegedly. Yeah, too. I mean the business great. is yeah. down there. Ooh, so Jesus. all the good jobs are coming now. But guess what? The niggas not gonna get them because guess what? They're gonna be too high. They're gonna be drugs are gonna be in their system. Now they're gonna still test you for a job, and when you get tested for the job, you can't have marijuana in your system. That's right. Yeah, that ain't really like you know n- niggas can take care of that. The really the things that <laughs> that niggas can't take care of is the qualifications to get the job. You know, like <laughs> okay, like you know. Uh, as soon as they have something like you might need a degree or you might need certain this or certain that. See, that's how they get you. Mm-hmm. You know, it ain't that drug test. It's them qualifications. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if somebody has two ounces of weed on them, what what an officer can 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 easily be like, I'm going to give you a charge with, with the intent to distribute. What determines that I'm not going to distribute this? You know what I'm saying? So if it comes along with a wide full of cash, then are you going to... Try to charge me with that? It has to be bagged up in individual baggies. If okay. it's not bagged up in individual baggies, then they can't charge you with no attempt to distribute, okay. none of that. It has to be bagged up, broke down. That's intent to distribute, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. We, uh, I don't know. So just... basically how y'all said that one person was let going, like putting it off last week? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> don't say no names. Don't say no names. Mm-hmm. No names. No names. No names. You better unbag it. <laughs> yep, unbag it and just uh, scale it up. And it look, it, also, if you got a scale too, they look at that as well. Mm-hmm. If you got a scale and it got like any residue, they look at that as intent to distribute. I got a friend who's fighting a felony for marijuana. Um, well, that's over for with. For a stem. Well, that's over for with a now. Stem. Well, that's over with now. It's that felony right. is over. It's over. When he go to court next time. When she go to court. Well, when she go to court next time, it's over. It's going to be over. She's going to be walking out. What has been going on on social media this week? Mm, well, as far as social media, I don't really too much know because I don't, together. right, I, I don't no, be on. Get on social media. I, like, I listen, I'm about you to. You have a podcast. We mm-hmm. talk about social events, mm-hmm. social stuff. Get mm-hmm. on social media. Yes. Look, I, that's, why I, that's why I have a beautiful. Post on the page. Look, 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 that's why I have, I, I need that too. I, I do need, need that, that too. But that's why I have. I post a, it on the page. That's week. why, I, that's why I have a beautiful podcast family <laughs> that keeps me on point. <laughs> and that you know does it, but I do. I, I listen. I do want to start doing my own Instagram more. I be on Snapchat more. Mm-hmm. But uh, as far as like social media, I don't really know. But I do know that uh, you know Thanksgiving is next weekend. A lot of the Black Friday sales. It's not next weekend. No, no, I said not next weekend. Mm, two weeks away, brother. Two weeks away. Yeah. Yeah, you got two weeks, baby. Two weeks. Hold on. It's, it, actually, it is next weekend. Right, y'all got to get it together. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't say next, next weekend. I said next week. It's not next week Mm-mm. though. It's not. No, y'all y'all might need to because today is yeah. Sunday. Yes. It ain't. Oh, it is next week. Y'all got to get it together. Okay, and yeah. I hope when okay, I sure. listen, yeah. I hope after, okay. I hope when y'all listen to this show <laughs> and y'all see how bad the first they be. time that Jay gets something right, he always wants some accolades. <laughs> she said the first time, no, yes. but. Next week, uh, you know, it's the holiday, so we hoping that y'all, you know, doing things with y'all family. But it's also Black Friday. So you going shopping? Yes, I am. I always do. You go out in them lines. Yeah, but see, listen, what I try to do is I try to get there before everybody else get there. Because mm-hmm. uh, I think this year they starting it not on Black Friday. They doing it on Thanksgiving. They doing it on Wednesday, yeah, low-key. Like, what no, you no, mean? Right. <laughs> they always started on Thanksgiving, low-key. Right. They starting on Wednesday this year. And I was going to tell Realist, but I said I was going to wait. But I think I'm going to join the uh, PlayStation family. Yes! This, uh, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy a, play, a PS4 for mm-hmm. Black Friday. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, but it means something real. <laughs> That's right. It means something real. I'm going to join the Apple Watch family, maybe. Right. Hey, and if you do that, listen. No, applause. <laughs> if you do that, are we listen. Yeah. And no, insert I'm applause. I'm waiting for somebody to get off of my my Sprint phone line. Dun dun dun. And dun. then I will, I will do it. No problem. Yep. And uh, I think um, Walmart they got some type of sale going on where if you add an iPhone, you get a four hundred dollar gift card. So yeah. I'm just trying to add lines. I'm Demi. Do you need you a new Sprint? F- 
No, uh, Walmart. I don't know. Walmart. Walmart, yeah, yeah, Walmart, Walmart. cause they got you know they sell uh, iPhones and stuff. But like, what carrier? Like Apple, all, all of no, them. No, like oh, Sprint, Sprint Vi- oh. Verizon, everybody. Okay. So if you add a line, you either get a three hundred dollar or a four hundred dollar gift card. So anybody in this household need a line because I'm I need that gift card. <laughs> nah, we good, baby. Okay. We good. We're going to try to see if Demi need a phone because I need that 400 And as long as her mama paid a bill. Demi got a phone. She got a Samsung. And that's all she got. But she might need another one. She need an iPhone. She need an iPhone X Mm because I need this. uh, I'm going to get her an iPad, but only for... so that she can FaceTime me, but no, she ain't gonna be playing no games. Well, look, they got them on stuff. sale for Black Friday for two fifty. That's pretty good. Look, I'm, that's what I'm saying. So lay away. It's like, no, I, just I don't think you can lay away Black Friday. <laughs> no, you can't. You, no. you, you, know, you can lay away. You should on Black be Friday able to. Prices. Yes, you can. I don't, I don't think oh, you know, so. you can a rain no. check, not a lay away. A yeah, rain check. Rain check. Rain I think check. some places be saying no rain check yeah. though. No, but you can get a rain check. You no. should be able to. Yeah. I like Walmart. If they run out, you should be able to get a rain check there. Possibility. Well, let's take a commercial break and we'll come right back. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Street, co-host of the 313 Live Show. Hey, look, let me tell you like this. If you listening to all the music on this show and you like it, please follow your boy on all social medias. That's at who is that J Street. That's W-H-O-I-S-D-A-T-J-S-T-R-E-E-T. From the whole 313 Live Show, we thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you. All right, y'all, we back from our commercial break. And um, now it's time for the memes of the week. So time for our segment, What You Mean. What you mean? What you mean? Y'all irritated. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Jay wasn't on the internet this week. For real, have you seen those Detroit accent memes? Uh, no, I haven't saw them. I, I seen those. Okay, Come on, so now. Listen, all damn, week. Damn, <laughs> I ain't that old. It's been um, basically, first it was, I don't know who started it, but... The most, the most, mostly I was seeing Detroit accent memes. So basically it was like, say something in your Detroit accent. Like, so things like people say lasher mm-hmm. when it's really losser. Right. Or what is it? Grash it. Grash it. But people say grasher and people yeah. say grash it. So I don't know which one is right. Grashy. It's actually grashiot because in New York, that's how they pronounce it. Grashiot. That's what the lady on Google say too. Mm-hmm. I wonder how they um like. But <laughs> the lady on is on oh, Google say, um, Cadillacs. Yeah, I was about to say like, what do they? How do they uh, pronounce? What's the wrong way to say casual? Cadillacs. Cadillac. Caddy. Caddy. Caddyucks or something. That's what she say. But that was a meme too. So mm-hmm. I thought it was just funny how they was just. <laughs> the funniest one I seen was him say something in your Detroit accent. And it was her. I work at Chrysler. That was funny as hell. <laughs> I, who comes up with these? Memes? I have no idea. I seen a couple. They need to get paid because those are that, that's some cool shit. They need to get paid. It's just it's just Detroit slang. So it'd be like oh, it was man. like him. It was like it was like yeah. her. Say something in your Detroit accent. Him, she like it was funny. It was uh, funny. You have to see him. Yeah. I'm gonna tag you in them real. Mm-hmm. You eat pussy or ass. Bottom. Both of them. Oh, both, both of them. Both of them. Like, that's, 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 like. <laughs> Are you real? That, what trip me out is, uh, I saw some shit that made a whole bunch of sense where they say, um. Muck control. That was um, funny. <laughs> how de- in Detroit, dudes would call they girl bro, but call they boy my baby. What's up, my baby? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I've like, seen that one. That I, I, was, that's I funny. Do that. I don't do no, that. No, but don't. guys really do that. I, 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 I say it all that. the time. To you guys, people, you, you call guys yeah, your baby? Yeah, I know. My, I call my, all the East Side people I know do that. Like, my baby, what's the deal? Yeah, nah, I, I'm with that, too, but I'm saying I don't call no female bro. I don't nah, do that. Nah, see, like, that's how you get no, cussed no, out. No, no, guys do call females bro. Like, yeah. say you arguing, you arguing. Say you arguing with a girl. I mean, I've been called bro a few times with an argument. Like, man, bro, you lying. Yeah. What? Like who yeah. you somebody who you kicking it with yeah. though? Man, like yeah. girls be trying to go off. <laughs> yeah. Girls Plenty be, of times. You be call going bro all the time awful. arguing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that that, that don't really <laughs> that I, was right I be getting cussed out I, I, for. That trips me out, yeah. How you gonna call a chick bro? Bro, are you for Man, real? bro, you lying. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I kinda see that, but she gotta be like my bro for real. No. Oh. Well, well. But you know, guys don't like when girls say bro. 
Yeah, I don't really play with it either, but I mean, it's cool. Like if I was like, man, bro, da 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 da. Like, nah, nah, that's cool. I mean, it's cool. It just depends on who it's coming from. Mm. I guess. Dun dun dun. Yeah, dun dun dun. <laughs> All I gotta say is. Thank you to the internet for turning Dexter's Laboratory into... Oh, my God. Dexter's Laboratory, uh, Ed, 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 and Eddie. Eddie. Uh, like, just over the years, Homer just yeah. went viral. Like Arthur. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, they done the did Arthur, Arthur so dirty. Just, I'm the poor, whoever, the like, Arthur created Arthur. Lit, okay? <laughs> I'm Whoever waiting, I'm waiting on them to um, blow my man Peter Griffin up um, on the memes. Oh, he got I mean, some, too. He got some, I he mean, got some too. Peter's a I ain't seen no. Funny. I ain't seen none in a minute, but I'm pretty sure he got some. I'm <laughs> South Park has some good ones. Yeah, like, I ain't seen Fat Albert though. Uh, Fat yeah. Albert. They ain't, no, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't fucking fuck with Cosby. Him. No, that's Cosby. They ain't trying to fuck with him. <laughs> Please believe they ain't trying to fuck with him. Listen, Cosby, I'm still watching you on Amazon Prime. So, so what's going on in the news, real? Well, let's talk about our acting attorney general, Matt Whitaker. Yes, Matt Whitaker. This guy, Matt Whitaker, he's something else. You know, I what I, I like about the Trump era, Trump is really sticking it to the feds. He's sticking it to America, period. He's showing you... His butt crack. Yeah, he's showing you his ass. And he's showing <laughs> you that I'm going to put in crooks. Everybody's going to be a crook. Now, now, let's be honest, okay? Now, Matt, for those of you that don't, that don't know... Matt Whitaker was Jeff Sessions' chief of staff. According to people close to the situation, Mr. Whitaker has been to the Oval Office several times and have an easy chemistry with Donald Trump. Those same people say that Trump considered Whitaker as his eyes and ears in the Justice Department. But now your man's Trump got on TV one, one day and clearly stated, I know Jeff Whitaker. Jeff Whitaker is a good guy. Everybody knows that he, in the White House, know that he knows Jeff Whitaker because Jeff Whitaker has been in the Oval Office with him more than once, more than two times, more than three times, allegedly more than ten times, updating him on what was going on because Jeff Sessions had moved himself from the um, situation, removed himself from it, right? Mm -hmm. So Whitaker was there. Then you get Trump comes back into the media and say, I don't know Jeff Se I mean, I don't know Matt Whitaker. Mm -hmm. I don't know Matt Whitaker. Matter of fact, let me let me let y'all out because a lot of people have not seen it or heard the clip. Let me let the people. We got clips this week. We got a clip of it. Oh Lord, let's let, let's let, hear the let's clip. Let's hear the clip of Trump saying he didn't know this man. Okay. Phrase it, f favorite president coming soon. I don't home. know this man. <laughs> <laughs> I, he, yes, you're gonna hear this shit. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this up. And this clip is courtesy of the New York Times. Well, Matt Whitaker, I don't know Matt Whitaker. Matt Whitaker worked for Jeff Sessions, and he was always extremely highly thought of, and he still is. But I didn't know Matt Whitaker. He worked for uh, Attorney General Sessions. He was very, very highly thought of, and still is highly thought of. But this only comes up because anybody that works for me, they do a number on them. But Matt Whitaker is a very smart man. He is a very respected man in the law enforcement community, very respected at the top of the line. Now, if you know this, Trump said several times that indicates that a motherfucker is lying. <laughs> I don't know Matt Whitaker. I don't know Matt Whitaker. He's making, he's distancing himself from Matt but Whitaker how now. how can you speak like, this person is that, this person is this, and then be like, but I don't know that person. <laughs> because this is a motherfucker... <laughs> Let's put it like this. Trump was born to win, right? And he's not winning. He's failing. He's miserably. winning. He's winning. No, he's failing. Financially. It, 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 yeah, no, in the, in the real world, he's he's losing. Only in his world, mm. he's winning. And to okay, the people so that think no, like him. As in, no, okay. So I think that in his world, he's winning. Yeah, that's like I said, his world, not reality. We talking about reality. He's not <laughs> but, winning. Okay, but, but here's the thing. Like, when you live your life, who you, who, like, I don't have to think that real is winning. Right. If you think you winning, then guess what? You winning. 
But I'm lying. I would be lying to myself if I'm thinking no, I'm winning. Because, I'm, not, but, I'm not winning. But, but your definition of I mean, like this man is not a politician. He is a president. Like yes, he, he is. is winning. Like anything he's wanted. Like it, somebody has said this on another podcast. Like um, like. We don't fuck with Trump, but Trump has got shit done for his people. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like he came in there and overturned his shit. In the first 15 days of his his uh, like his candidacy, he was doing shit, right. not shit that we wanted him to do mm-hmm. on this side, but he was doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Who can authorize no foreigners can fly in? What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like he was getting stuff done, whereas our other presidents who we had. Are basically saying like it takes a long time. We have to get these bugs. We have uh-huh. to do this. You get what I'm saying? So he's winning yeah. in, in all aspects of what of, of his life. Now this is why, and I'm glad that you brought that up. That he's he was winning. He's getting stuff done because you got to look at it. When he came in, he had a Republican House and he had a Republican Senate, right? Mm-hmm. So anything that he wanted to get done was going to get passed through because he was a Republican. And he got a lot of those Republicans and he wooed them over and they had to, they was thinking like, look, if we don't side with this motherfucker, our seats are in jeopardy. Mm-hmm. And a lot of their seats were still in jeopardy because they lost. The certain ones who sided with him, they won. But, but it's in jeopardy because, you know, he's not a politician. Right. So he going to put who he want in those mm-hmm. spots, you know? Right, you know, somebody but, who he cool with. But right, but but see, Obama. This is what the fickle-minded motherfuckers don't realize. Obama couldn't get shit done because he had the Republican House and the Republican Senate, and their whole thing was to make sure that that president failed miserably. When I say that president, I mean Obama. They their job was to make him fail miserably, make him look bad. So that's what they were there for. Now moving on to Trump, he had. A Republican um, Senate and a Republican House. Everybody know that the House is very important because whenever you're trying to pass something, it has to get through the House, pass through the House to make it to the Senate. If it doesn't pass through the House, then it doesn't go to the Senate. So now Trump has a Democrat House now. So Trump is in a situation now he's going to have to kiss some ass. He's going to have to make deals with Democrats, shit that he wasn't willing to do in the the, um, past. He's going to have to do that now because if he's not willing to make deals with them, his last two years in office are going to be, he's going to fail miserably as a president. He's already known as a liar. And I got to tape right here a clip when Trump telling you that he knows Matt Whitaker now. Let me run that. And this tape is courtesy of Fox News. One other question, though, in the Washington Post this morning, it says that you talked to the attorney general's chief of staff about replacing the attorney general. Apparently, uh, according to the Post, you talked to Matthew Whitaker, but the conversation was nebulous, they depicted as. It wasn't clear whether you wanted him to replace him on an interim basis or he would be nominated on a more permanent basis. Anything to that story? Well, I never talk about that, but I can tell you Matt Whitaker is a great guy. I mean, I know Matt Whitaker, but I never talk about conversations that I had. Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump just openly admitted on tape that he knows this guy now. But, <laughs> Danny, what do you what do you think? He, he gets caught in lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. What do you think about this, Danny? I mean, well, it's just no surprise. It's just like, you just going to have to read articles. I don't even know about reading articles because the news is, has done a poor job of telling of telling an unbiased story, like of, of just delivering the facts. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I guess you're just going to have to go out there and find the truth for yourself. I mean, I would, I would never be listening to Donald Trump. Nothing that he got to say. Never, ever, never be listening to him because for what? I said this guy, Matt Whitaker, he's under investigation. Mm-hmm. Already, already for cert- for shit that he's done as far as ripping off veterans. Um, I have a I have a clip of that as well. Let me just slip this clip in. President Trump's new acting attorney general, Matt Whitaker, has been a vocal critic of the Mueller investigation. But he also was associated with a company fined nearly $26 million for scamming customers. Would you like to receive royalties from a major corporation? It was called World Patent Marketing, and Whitaker appeared in several of its videos. In this one, he discusses a razor blade. It easily folds into itself. 
He appeared in this video touting a hot tub innovation. It's a unique design that's going to help lots of people. The company promised inventors lucrative patent agreements, but the government accused it of bilking thousands of customers and a judge ordered it shut down. Whitaker was most recently chief of staff for the fired Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and his past before that as an outspoken critic of the Russia investigation is also drawing scrutiny. There is no criminal obstruction of justice charge to be had here. He often appeared on news shows refuting various so aspects of it. Here, he says one way to weaken the investigation would be to defund it. I could see a scenario where Jeff Sessions is replaced and that attorney general doesn't fire Bob Mueller, but he just reduces his budget so low that his, his investigation grinds to a, a, almost a halt. He also said the scope of the investigation should be limited. If Bob Mueller does go beyond the 2016 election and get into Trump uh, organization finances, I think that would be crossing the red line. Whitaker is a former college football player and a United States attorney from Iowa. He ran for Senate in 2014, but lost in the Republican primary. If you can trust me to fight for Iowa. Whitaker now has the power to impede the investigation or prevent special counsel Robert Mueller from delivering his final report. And that is making Democrats nervous. Protecting Mueller and his investigation is paramount. I'm liking how Trump is thumbing it in everybody's face. I'm loving it. I'm loving all you motherfuckers who did support him and now you don't support him. And I, I love it that you motherfuckers are supporting him Still supporting him because you still you seeing he's rubbing everything in your face. He's not for you. He's not for me. He's not for nobody. Right now, Matt Whitaker is more to this story about this fraud that he was, you know, caught up in with the and the federal government. Now, everyone was told sent out notices to forfeit over the money that they made from this company, and everyone did except Matt Whitaker. They had to send Matt Whitaker two notices. They sent it out and he still has not forfeited the money back that he's made from this company. But this is our new acting attorney general. Well, it's no surprise. I mean, if you're, it's like, I just, the wild factor for Trump is like, it's already been gone. Like we really about to go into year three, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like in, in a month, or in a month and a half, like, year three of his presidency. Like, right. So it's like, he's already blue. Once you started separating kids from their parents and putting these kids in, like, horrible conditions and then, like, secretly, like, uh, having them adopted and, and put in foster care secretly, mm -hmm. and there's no trace of the kid to be able to find their parent. Once you started doing that, it was no more jaw-dropping things for me you know what i'm saying it was just like my jaw's on the floor and that's where it stands I, I agree with you wholeheartedly on that um danny that's really right now there's nothing more that he can do that will impress me i mean if he now if 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 a war breaks out mm -hmm. what he does and and when and when if america has to go to war for whatever reason then that will be a new jaw-dropping thing but the rest of it, it's like my jaw's on the floor. <laughs> well, I look at Trump, and it's a picture floating around. I'm glad that, you know, we talk about these um, pictures and these memes, memes mm -hmm. and everything floating around social media. Okay, over the weekend, Trump was uh, had went to Paris. He was supposed to be there to honor the World War One veterans, out. right? It's this on World War World. WW1 bet you right, know. No, 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 at the cemetery. The okay, because I'm right. like, damn. No, from the, no, from the cemetery, I was right? About to say. <laughs> so it was raining, right? And Trump canceled and said, I'm not going because it's raining. And he was already over in the country, and it was like a 50 mile, 50 miles from where he was at to the cemetery. And he could have got on Air Force One and flew over there. Or they could have drove over there, right? Because Air Force One was there, and he made up the lamest excuse and said that Air Force One was not equipped to travel through the rain. Are you fucking for real? <laughs> Did you just tell this lie? These are the best planes yes. that money can buy. Yes, but that lets you know he just lied and said that our 
Air Force One was was garbage. So, um, when you go back and they showing you pictures of President Barack Obama, who I I'm proud to say that I lived in this lifetime Man. to witness a president with class, with dignity, with respect and honor and morals that we don't have anymore. They, they show pictures of him standing out in the rain, pouring down, honoring past veterans that passed away that did what he needed to do for our country and was not worried about his hair getting wet. Like this well, motherfucker, his toupee. Yeah, his and toupee. I'm like, he does wear a wig in yeah. his defense. Okay, but he's, he's but no, in. but he's worried about. He was worried about his hair getting wet. That was what he said allegedly. I didn't hear, but this is what the rumors <laughs> going around. Now I look back and there's more pictures of Trump with the umbrella. Right, he's holding the umbrella and walking and with his wife, but his wife is getting wet and he's got the umbrella over him. There's another one. He shows the umbrella. Over him and his wife and his son is getting wet. He doesn't even try to shield them. So that lets you know that he's not a man that's a true protector of his family. That he's letting them get wet and he's under the umbrella, right? Then they showed you another video clip of this motherfucker one day walking up to the air on the airplane with the umbrella. And instead of like how Obama and all the other past presidents would let it down and shake it off, this motherfucker dropped the umbrella and walked onto the plane, right? <laughs> and you like, wow. Dropped Mike. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, bam, dropped it, threw it down and looked at it and said, okay, they get this motherfucker, right? And I'm like, wow. And, and, and then in the beginning of his presidency, you could tell that he was so lost, right? After he exited the airplane, you know that the limousine that they call the Beast for the president Sits right That's what there. They call it. Yeah, they call it the That's beast. Because yeah, it, it is, a, it is a different it, type of Catalan. Yeah, it's a. It's I called peeped the it. Beast. I peeped and it. Okay. Only if you see what that motherfucker is equipped with, that's when you will see why they call it the beast. Because I, I know that it's because it's like a. It's not your or average ordinary Cadillac. It's kind of lifted up too as well. That motherfucker's bulletproof. and it's bulletproof. It's like a tank. It's like Man, a tank. That's crazy. Three and four. The windows don't even roll down on that motherfucker. Shout out to real because I ain't even know that. So. So you said the it, windows. It, yeah, it showed him no air. No, it showed him getting off of the plane. Right, the the beast is sitting right there. This nigga walks off the plane, goes the opposite way, and looking for the car that he's supposed to get into. And the secret service like, there it is, right there. He's like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that is my <laughs> car now, right? And you know, I'm like, wow, this is the dumbest motherfucker that we have as the president of the United States. But kids, let me just say this. Especially you minority kids. You guys should have hope now that if this moron is the president of the United States, you too can become the president of the United States of America. Yes. If you are a young kid and your family has billions of dollars and you want to become the president one day, you can possibly do that because of Donald Trump. So, yes. So, let's um, talk about something else. <laughs> Move on, Um then. Well, first of all, I want to say, like, the wildfires in California are still, like, Ain't going that crazy? massive. Yeah. They never stopped. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's been fires for, like, a year almost. I think they got, like, an arson or something out there that's just <laughs> no, setting shit on fire. No, they do not. No, they do not. No, like, them wildfires, those are, like, natural, nat- natural causing fires. Like, and those, like, because they're, like, they're not, like, it's, like, not, like, a, like, a, a, a like gasoline a, like a. fire shed. It's not like a gasoline <laughs> fire or something like that. It, because of the different like toxins and things that happen in the environment, mm-hmm. like these fires learn how to like, it's like evolution. You know, like you learn how to like survive in a different like habitat. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like they're, they're thriving. Like the fire is outside with like oxygen. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's just pure air outside. So that's what they need to thrive. Like it's hard to put a fire the cra- out. Like the crazy that. thing about that is, you know, the, the animals in these little habitats or whatnot like that. Because, you know, California got bears, all type of crazy stuff. Where are they going today? Are they by like being in people's like home? Not homes, but just like around in the area. That's like. Just the the fire not being safe is not the only concern. There's so much other stuff. It's killing people. Yeah. Like think about like like smoke inhalation. Oh, just yes. in the the sm- Think about the smog that is in California. Like mm-hmm. in the areas that has been burning continuously. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's that is sad. 
yesterday. So prayers for California prayers, and the wildfires. Definitely. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is Axe the Dog. <laughs> Axe the Dog. Y'all know who Axe the Dog is? No. no. Good. Okay, so furthermore, I would like to talk about Theo. He was shot at his baby shower in St. Clair Shores. Theo, like Theo Huxtable? Theo Huxtable? No. Oh. No, Theo is the name of this guy who was um, shot and killed by the police. You can't say Whoa. Theo like His that, name like. is Theo. But I'm just saying, like, it's so... No, but I did that because... Um, basically like Monday morning, it was all over the, it was all over Facebook, all over the news. Like they were, the story, the headline was K-9 officer shot and killed. Mm -hmm. Like in his face, the dog's face was everywhere. And I was pissed. Like the the dog's face was, it was two people, it was two deaths, the dog and Theo. So so was Theo black or white? Black. He was at his (laughs) baby shower. And he shot the dog? Alleged, so this is okay. So, the original story that came out, the story that originally broke, like Detroit Free Press was so like disappointing to me. They broke the story of like, um, like our hearts go out to axe the dog, a canine off police officer was gunned down basically while he was on duty. Like, okay, um, basically, the first story that they ran was. There was a baby shower going on, and a, a black guy was outside. He was armed. The police asked him to unarm himself. He didn't, and he tried to flee. And then from that point on, shots rang out. So I don't know. Um, from, from that story that they first put out, they never had said that who shot the dog. They never said who shot the dog in that story. Right. Or um, But they did clarify that Theo was killed by the police. He wasn't killed immediately. He was rushed to the hospital and then he died later at the hospital. So then later on when the internet went crazy, cause it was like, kind of like not fuck your dog, but like fuck your dog because like a human Mm -hmm. died and y'all not running that story. You know, that was like, my heart goes out to the carrier. Well, like what about the family of the human person who is dead as well? So the internet went crazy over that. So then, um, they released more, more of the story and basically the story was that Theo was threatened by like they I guess he had got word that somebody was coming to harm his family at the shower or that somebody wanted, you know, some problems with him and so he went outside to go get his gun. Now I don't even know where the dog comes into play with or how the police were called because that is not clear because they saying that the dog was used to trace his scent. But like how would you get the initial scent? Right. Like what did he do for y'all to trace his scent? Right. To get to him, you know what I'm saying. How did the dog end up to in this area? Exactly. Right. Like it, it's it's a very unclear story, and even still to this day, it's still unclear on what even is going on. And to be honest, I think that the police shot their own dog. I'm gonna tell you two sides to oh well, not two sides, but I'm gonna answer both questions to that, Danny. Well, first of all, the reason why they were more concerned about the dog over the human's life is because the human being that died was a nigga. That's why. So he was black. They didn't give a fuck about him. The dog's life was more important than the than the nigga's um, life was. Okay? And this is true facts. Come on. For them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for them. Now, this is what happened. Y'all said, what, what um, city you said this was in? St. Clair Shores. St. Clair Shores. Macomb. Macomb County. White people. Where J Street lives. His <laughs> county. <laughs> What happened? Shout out to my neighbors. They saw that this black man had a gun, and when it all comes down to into play, you're gonna find out that he was he had that gun legally. Yeah, Yeah, he was licensed to carry that gun. So what happened was a nosy ass white person, nine times out of ten, saw him with his gun and went and called the police, told the police what kind of car it was at, put the dog on the car, went to his house. See, a lot of white people was doing this shit here lately. They're they're seeing shit. And like, well, I'm going to call the police and let the police know this. And then, bam, when it gets there, this person, it, it comes out to be something ugly. And the white person is like, oh, well, shit, I just called the police. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that white person should have some type of, um, okay, well, damn, I feel bad that I did this. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I did that. But that shit can also backfire on the white people, y'all. Seeing what happened to that white lady who was um fucking mm-hmm. with the two black ladies mm-hmm. that lived in the apartment complex where mm-hmm. she worked at, bragging that she made 120 made because she doesn't make it anymore, $125,000 a year, and found out that the black lady makes more money than she makes, right? So, but you didn't hear that black woman 
bragging about how much money she making. She just telling the lady, lady, go on, mind your business, leave us alone. We're waiting on trip away. Right. Okay. And so the white lady's boss saw that shit, and guess what? She's no longer working for the company, and her dumb ass went to jail and was charged for that shit. Yep. Got her up out of here like black Twitter. Like, <laughs> Yay, yay. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, in this day and age, it's like you got to watch what you do because... First of all, the employee, the employers are looking, yes. but it only to like first, like somebody had tweeted something, and when I say Black Twitter was on it, like they tweeted, she tweeted something from like an egg account on Twitter, and they was like, "No, we know who you are." Right. They they put her address on there, they put her full name on there, and they tagged her job. Like this is your employee because you can't. It's not okay for you to to feel the way you feel and, and spew it around. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And think that it's not go not going to be connected back to you. Oh, yes, it is. Well, and you're 100% right, Danny. I'm going to to say that you're right on that because a lot of these people that we're talking about, they don't care about anything. Especially niggas. Niggas, period. Niggas, we're... Well, I'm not going to say we because I'm, I'm just a black man, not a nigga. What are you, Jay? I'm a black man. A I'm a black man. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Did y'all hear that? Uh-oh. Did y'all hear that? that breaking, breaking news. <laughs> I'm a Danny Ab is Shut a up. black man. Shut up. We got Danny. three men on the show. We Uh-oh. need another female So your host. name is, is your name Daniel or Daniel? That's my little brother's name. Okay. <laughs> Let me quit. But yeah, this is this this is some crazy shit, people. That's all I can say is um. Be, just be careful out here, people. Whatever you do, if you out in um, a white neighborhood and you live in this white neighborhood, <laughs> Jay. be careful. Be just, careful. I'll yes. be trying to be careful, man. My white neighbors yeah. don't like me, so. Really? Man, listen, they think I sell drugs. What? Because you're a young black man and live where you live. Yeah, because no, like. Because when you I w- have people coming in and out your house. No, nah, not only that, but no, because uh, when, like, when I was working from home, uh, you know, they would just see because I mean I'm in a nice neighborhood, so they just yes, see me, uh, t- just at the crib. Like they don't see me going to work or nothing like that. So they like, oh, and they, you know, they be smelling stuff too. So they like, oh. oh, so, so what do you do to where you can live up in here and you don't have to go to work every day? And I, I mean, I do go to work. My stuff is here. But what do you do? I'm trying to work from home. I tell them none of their motherfucking Man, business. That's what I would have told them. None of your motherfucking business. I'm more for the CIA. So okay. if you're trying to fill out an application, yes, just send it to me. <laughs> Who is that? J Street eighty seven at <laughs> gmail dot com, and we will definitely get you up in the Pentagon. Um. So on a positive note, how are y'all listening? To, have y'all been listening to music? I know y'all yeah. said y'all was gonna listen to the Curtis. Uh, y'all uh, have been you know what? Listen I'm, to everything <laughs> except that. Yeah. No, I haven't been. Okay. So you said you was gonna talk about you wanted to talk about what song? What what song? I don't know. You said something something with your jam. I have no oh, idea. Oh, what was that? Um, the shit you were just singing. I ain't Leave got me no. Alone. Right, right. Hey, <laughs> who is that? I don't know. See, ain't that funny? You just hear a song, you don't even know who it is. Wait. You gonna shout out Money Bag Yo? Y'all might not know who, who is that. that. What he got? Money Bag Yo. He just he actually got a nice amount of projects out. He just dropped a project last Friday. It's pretty dope. He got J Cole on there. A couple other people. From Flip De Niro. Flip De Niro. That's Shout out to him. That's who sings Leave Me Alone, and that's a good song. Leave Me Alone. Uh, 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 you need to learn uh, the words. Hey. You <laughs> yeah. So I've been listening to Ariana Grande's new um, wah, single. Wah, wah. No, her new single is lit. Don't even do it. Sing Don't it. even do it. I'm not about to. See, no, look, I'm not look, to sing. everybody. Because I'm, I'm not like a singer on the mic. Me but, either. <laughs> I bet you Danny can sing. I can, but I'm not about to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just give us a couple bars. Leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Danny, you were wrong. Uh, I've been listening to some LMA only like one song, though. Because I don't really like her album. Okay, you know I heard, LMA I heard, album? I heard, I heard, yeah, I heard it was garbage. It's just cool. one LMA. Yeah. Garbage. They all just sound similar to each other. And then, like, like I think we mentioned last week, I don't like the way her, her, her talking voice sounds. So. What do you mean you don't like to hear her talk? <laughs> because... Because she likes teasing crumpets. Okay, because her talking voice don't match her singing voice. So for me, that's important when I'm thinking about like a whole package of somebody I like. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, 
So like, you ain't the, like the Spice the Girls? Is, I, don't, I don't like them. But you think about Michelle. You know what I'm saying? You know who Michelle is? Come yeah, on now. Nah, okay. I'm talking about who? Uh, Dr. Okay, Dre beat up? Saying, like, Michelle sings with a lot of depth in her voice, but when she talks, she sounds like she's sucking in helium. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a <laughs> yeah. problem. So it's just a full package for me, and then I just don't like her her talking voice. Just that's tell her to is. shut up. I mean, just keep no, singing. but I'm saying if you listen listening to LMA's album, like, she started talking at the Fast forward, song. do it. I'm okay. I don't, the, what I'm saying is, okay, so she was on The Breakfast Club, right? And so Charlamagne told her that her son, her album <laughs> doesn't sound like a collective piece of work. Mm-hmm. He told her that it sounds like a, a playlist, you know, like, and so she was like, well, she took it as a compliment, but he didn't mean it as a compliment, but I can understand what he mean. Like, you know how you just got like a, a playlist of right. like similar songs yeah. that make you feel good. They mm-hmm. they not too rah-rah. They just chill. That is kind of what you get from our album. But I just... Because hmm. people not doing skits no more. They not putting the I, I, artistry mm-hmm. into music anymore, man. But they the, just is the make, artistry the skits? Because if they making music, It don't even actors. have to be skits. It could be an interlude. It could be something else. I mean, else. people do do interludes. All the, Nikki do interludes. Mm-hmm. Like, the Drake, LMA do, do, Drake one? do interludes. The LMA you know is the one who's trying to win you over as... He's trying to win you over as a fan. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not, a, not a fan. I'm not, not a fan. I'm not, not a fan. <laughs> but... <laughs> um, I can't say that I'm a fan completely. I do like Trip. Buddha was a, it was I ain't really too like Buddha. I didn't Trip, like Buddha. I like but Trip, Trip is a great song. Trip is the shit. And my favorite song on her album is Shot Clock. I really love that song. I she heard can write yet. really well because uh-huh. she writes most of her music. So her writing is not the problem. It's just uh, uh maybe she need to be here more. And but you know I was talking to um. My niece about a Detroit artist who has actually mm-hmm. kind of made it big, and I don't want to really mention her name, but I was saying, but Brittany? no, oh. <laughs> I was saying, I mean, because Rocky Britney is cool, but no, I'm talking about somebody who's actually on the airwaves, not like somebody who's not really touching airwaves. I don't keep saying people because oh. I don't want to have to say yes or no. Okay, but I feel like Check she's me. talented. I'll tell you who it is off air. She's talented, but it's her voice of voice that that she needed to be signed, maybe mm-hmm. not. You know what I'm saying? Like, is her voice something that's unique and something that's like, ooh, I like, I need to I hear her singing. You know about, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, uh, okay. Like, to me, Tink, she's a great artist. Mm-hmm. Where is she? What is what is she doing mm-hmm. with her music? Like, Fell off. Why, though? Because she's dark-skinned. Like, and, and that's what you don't want to get into colorism about the music industry, but, like, it's not really a real reason why she didn't take off. I feel that, and, and, and by dealing with certain people in the music industry, a lot of artists make the mistake of clicking up with one producer mm, and one yeah. team, and that's yeah. what Tink did yeah. when she should have stepped out and dealt with other producers. Mm-hmm. Like, um, look at everybody who just linked up with Timberland, right? Where they <laughs> at today? Except Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott is doing fine. But see, Missy and Tim are like, yeah. like Tim, the link up you were talking about, like, are like up and down. Like right. Tim and Missy was level playing yeah. field, so it's not the same, you know. Like, True. but I'm saying, like, look at Ma- what's his name, Magoo, and look at I uh, love uh, Magoo. Oh, he I was tight. Love oh, he, Magoo. Yeah. yeah, he was tight. That nigga was tight. What? But Sick. yes, where? But where is he now? Because he was. You can only say dealing, that about a lot on, of people. On, but he was only dealing look, with Timberland. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay, then look at Genuine. He was he was hot before Timberland, but then he just latched himself onto Timberland. Now look at him today. But. But 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 okay, so rappers attach themselves to to DJs all the time mm-hmm. and stay on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, or attach themselves to producers, yeah. and, and and that's what they do. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, Future only mess with a, a select sound. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, okay. So we, we, we once again we talking about rappers and R and B. R and B like when the Temptations okay, okay, was doing okay, their thing. Okay. They had more than one producer they worked with. They both worked with Smokey Robinson, um, Norman Whitfield. They worked with a lot of I people. I can feel you on that. Right. Okay. And like, look at New Edition. When they when they came out, they had several producers on their um, Home Again album. But they only really wanted to work with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. But you just Shout can't, out to them. Yeah, shout out to them, but you just can't do that. But now rappers, shit, you can put Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre together and, and let Dr. Dre produce all 18 tracks, and you got a hit. You I know? wonder why they haven't did that. Oh, <laughs> man. I, I'll tell you off air. I'll tell you off air. But yeah, it, you know, shit like that. That, that wasn't so I guess it. I guess I can, can agree with you. Like, people do latch on and then be like, I won't get outside this box. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, I can see that. 
everybody is saying Quavo's well Offset's album is better than Quavo. I haven't heard about. I I, I saw well, it. I, I downloaded it. I don't it. think that Quavo's album was that good. I didn't really like, like it. It was. I really like, it was. It had a few on there. <laughs> I like that song where he had uh, where he was uh, trying to copy Juvenile. Oh, quit playing! You, you are you for real? Yeah, you heard you heard you it. You heard it, or no, you shocked that he tried to copy I'm shocked you. that he's trying to come on, man. Yeah, yeah, he tried Even to. Now is the legend. Yeah, yeah. So you can't you can't you can't reproduce that. Uh-uh. Nah, maybe because it's the beat. That's so probably. So this is y'all homework. Y'all need to go home and listen to. I got it too. Um, Honcho, what is it? Whatever Quavo, his I don't album, even think and it's then Offset, Hunt. his album. Then y'all also need to come in here with your top fives. Mm-hmm. Top five what? Artists, not like not just rappers, not just singers, like your top five artists who you like. Sada Baby. Okay. Drago. <laughs> but wait, what before we go, <laughs> it's this me it's this meme circulating on who you think better, Sada Baby or T Grizzly. Sada Baby. Uh, Sada Baby. A is lot a of beast. people are going T Grizzly on lyrics. Well, but you gotta look at his delivery they, is not that good. No, T, he, <laughs> no, he got a nice delivery. He's, he's, he's I, a, I don't he, think he, so. He's I think a beast. Sada. Like T Grizzly is a beast. Sada is a beast. They both beast in their own 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 um, rights. Way, yeah. um, but to me, um, I think Sada Sada, Sada would rip a beat up, mm-hmm. and Sada would rip a house up. Mm-hmm. You know, but he off of every song, a lot of. Thing times that T Grizzly he rips up a crowd is when he performing um what's that next day out yeah that's when he rips the crowd up but right now I'm gonna give it to I just saw T Grizzly on um YouTube mm-hmm. at Icebox where they say allegedly he spent four hundred thousand on a cold ass piece it's um half beast half man um churn and it's like eighty two carats. Now they out here snatching Detroit Chains. And, uh, they don't care who you are. I don't think they're going to snatch that one off T Grizzly. That's a I mad mean, look. I, 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 I hope uh, not. These Milwaukee niggas, I don't wish that niggas, on nobody, man. but exactly. <laughs> that and, like, did you see, did, did you hear about what happened to Rocky? I, I, oh, yeah, man. I saw that. Man, that, that that's just they, horrible. They did her wrong. Her and, body, and she was in Cali. She was in California. They set her up. Yeah. yeah. Flew her out there. To say, said it was for a show or something like that. They peed on her. What were they in the dude? Oh, they dude, dude. dude. They did there wasn't no real females bad. doing nothing to that. They they like basically beat her up. No, they beat her up. They beat her up. They put her in the cage. They peed on her and everything. Like, wow. I thought. Well, this a female that's taking um credit. For no, doing because this. she's the she said yeah. she set it up. Cuban okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Cuban. Uh, allegedly, the story that I heard is that tell us about it, Rocky. Then. At some point, fought Cuban doll and they jumped yeah. her or something. Like this is the first like what happened, and they that it was a jump or something like that. And then I mean, like if you get jumped, you looking. I'm if I if I jump somebody, I'm looking for the comeback. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I know like oh you gonna come back, mm-hmm. but like come back like I came at you. Don't try to come back on like some times ten shit. You know what I'm saying? So like. I heard two stories either that either she went out there and, like to squash it and she thought it was gonna be cool, you know what I'm saying? Or they was going out there to square up, but she went out there and it just turned into something that she didn't think it was gonna be. You know how you go out there but you like on your you on your shit, but you know like, okay, anything might pop off. And she was with niggas, you know what I'm saying? But they beat both of them up. Mm. Like, so my thing here is with Rocky Badass, and I like Rocky Badass because Rocky Badass got some nice music. Now, Rocky, you're a Detroit baby, and if you're listening to this, let me just say this, Rocky. You supposed to have home court advantage. You don't need to go out to nobody's else um, city or state or they hometown. They want you, so they got to come to you. You tell them, nigga, you come to me. You want me. Especially because Detroit rock with her. Right, because now if you want me and you come to me, then it's going to be a whole different outlook Look, when you come. You're going to leave this <laughs> motherfucker with something you probably don't want. Right. Or you're going to leave this motherfucker and your family going to be collecting your insurance policy or they're going to be um, setting up a GoFundMe account mm-hmm. to help bury your mm-hmm. ass, one of the two. All right, John, so it's been 106. Yes, episode 106. It ain't 106 p.m. Oh, and before we end the show, yes, oh, looks like... update. Lions update. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Up. Looks like we are losing 26 <laughs> to 10. Could have told you that. Could have told Lions. you that. By Chicago. So. Aww. Wah, wah, wah. Well. Maybe uh, next year. It's been a good episode, everybody. Peace and love. And we out. Bye.